Hey everyone, Knowledge here with Reach Your Summit. Thanks for joining me. This video is a second and final installment of my section hike with Bonsai on the Connecticut section of the Appalachian Trail. Last summer we had planned on hiking the entire Connecticut section, but things don't always go as planned and we had to step off trail about halfway through. So recently we took advantage of a couple of days and got out there and picked up where we left off and finished near the Massachusetts line. I am very, very grateful to have been a part of this experience with Bonsai and to see him through on his journey. And I also took advantage of this time to test out some new gear. So I've been getting a lot more into documenting and filming recently. So I've been looking at upgrading the quality of video on this channel for all of you, the viewers, and also out of my own personal interest. So I picked up a GoPro Hero 9, which I used for the first time on this trip. I'm still learning the ropes with it. I've never used one before, so I'm really looking forward to learning more about it and enhancing the quality on this channel with that camera, possibly even using it on the Allegheny 100 this year. I also was testing out some rain shells. They had very limited use, so I was really excited to be able to put more mileage in with the Arc'teryx Zeta SL rain jacket and the Zeta SL rain pants. Along with that, I also picked up some Arc'teryx Fission gloves, so I am using those on this trip as well. Uh, and I also decided to swap out my bivy for a tent with a last minute decision as I caught the weather predictions changing as I was about to head out the door. I grabbed the closest tent to me in the gear closet and that ended up being the Hyperlite Mountain Gear Dirigo 2. My main reason for that was to reduce the exposure of my gear to the elements that were predicted and also reduce my chances of having a completely soaked shelter when I got inside. So without further ado, here's the final chapter in Bonsai's Connecticut section of his Appalachian Trail hike. A huge congratulations to him. I hope you all enjoy this video. Let's get right into it. We are picking up where we left off over the summer. How's it feel to be back out here? Oh, redemption time. Oh yeah. A little slushy to start, but we are heading up the Lemon Squeezer and up to Mount Easter. I don't think we have to worry about a lack of water this time. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think so either. Or the humidity. No. Or the heat. Or the heat. I'll take the cold over the heat any day. Let's see if we need the spikes for this one. Here's the lemon squeezer. Yeah, baby. A little bit of a undercast over there near Mohawk Mountain. Pine Swamp. You could stack and still be under the weight of a single quilt. Oh, yeah. yep. and, and to get a rating down below what I have now. Check out this view from Mount Easter. Yeah. So 
we're gonna stop here for a snack break. So far, so good with the Gore-Tex. The jacket and the pants have been holding up. Same thing with the gloves here, fission gloves. And uh, hasn't been too crazy, just misty the whole time for the most part. So feels great being out here though. Nice, comfortable hiking temperatures. So this is what happens when you're a sweaty guy. This is in no way because of the rain and mist outside. I've been completely bone dry from that. But when you sweat a lot, still been getting a little bit of build up in there. So I'm going to hike a little slower than we have been and dry the jacket off with my body heat. Bonsai and I are making our way up Sharon Mountain now to beautiful hang gliders view. The beautiful hang gliders view. Socked in with fog and clouds a little bit but still get a general idea what do you think amazing <laughs> simply amazing Got a little glimmer of sunlight there. Glimmer of hope that will dry out a little bit for us. Let's see how that turns out. <laughs> Drastic change on the AT. Went from full on winter to full on wet, soggy fall. Heading over to Belter's Bump. There's Belter's campsite. This is where I stayed a few weeks ago when we had a significant snowfall. It was a great trip. I'm gonna stop here to get a get little, a get a pretty boil going. <laughs> Some hot Apparently there's a new Suge video that we got to check out when we get home from this trip, so looking forward to that. I'm going to take off some of this rain gear because it is unnecessary now. Feels like mid-40s right now. It is not too far off. It's 39 degrees right now. Looks like a 30% chance of snow at 5 o'clock and that's it. So it changed. Not a bag of potato chips, but it sounds like one. <laughs> Good old Nyla flume. Oh yeah. That's another thing I left at home because I went with the tent instead of the bivy, so you won't hear any crinkling potato chips from me tonight. <laughs> well, I was, with uh, the exception of the X-Therm pad. Yeah. Oh, got a special treat too. Ooh. Nice. Oh, yeah. Wintertime goodies. So I used one of those. I used my Yuko Lantern uh, up at Mount Greylock last winter on the, the AT. It was the trip that where it was minus 20. Yeah. Definitely added a little bit of warmth to uh, the hammock with the winter cover.
Barrick Mountain. I think I showed it in the last video where Bonsai and I left off after our grueling, what was that, five and a half, six mile road walk? Oh yeah, good time. <laughs> no shoulder. No shoulder. That was sketchy in a few spots. That is the end of the Mohawk Trail. It used to be part of the AT until the 80s. And it switched over to where we are now. of the water down there. Here's where it's gonna get a little dicey. All right, I'm putting this camera down for now. That was all iced up. Super sketchy going down. Bonsai and I made it. I'm gonna set up camp and get some dinner going. See you all in a bit. You could have got away with the bivy too. Yeah, I could have got away with the bivy. A lot of flat ground spots. Yeah. Oh well. All set up here. Just gotta get my sleeping pad and quilt and everything set, which I'll do now. But not bad for setting up on a platform. Got the Hyperlite Mountain Gear Derivo 2. And Bonsai setting up his hammock over there. And we just made it in time because it's starting to rain. So I'm 100% happy that I kept the bivy at home and went with the tent instead for the reason that is going on right now. It was not supposed to be raining like this.
it is supposed to be raining out now. 90% chance until 6, and then snow until 7 o'clock. So we're going to grab our dinners and head over to the lean-to and eat over there with some shelter. And then come back over to the tent. Definitely a good choice for this trip. I have some mutant mosquitoes here. If you can see it, there it goes. Oh, there goes another one flying. <laughs> it's around freezing and we got mosquitoes. Great day today, and got everything all dialed in now. Everything's drying up. I got my outdoor research down beanie on, and my goose feet gear down socks. Everything is all packed up inside the bottom of my quilt so it can dry. And I've got my footwear and pack in the tent with me too so that could dry. It's snowing out right now and looks absolutely beautiful. It's going to be a nice backdrop tomorrow when we're having coffee before we head off to finish the last 12 and a half miles of Bonsai's Connecticut AT section. Really looking forward to it. It was great to get out and test some gear today. The GoPro found its limits with the battery being exposed to the cold all day. It ended up shutting off and would not turn back on until I swapped out the battery just because the battery got so cold. That is no fault with the GoPro. It's just how it was. And I had a couple of extra backup batteries, so that wasn't a problem. Also got to test out the Arc'teryx rain gear, the Zeta SL, and the Fission gloves, which worked really well. The jacket and pants kept me protected and dry from the elements, but I still sweat inside of both of them quite a bit, and that is no fault to those products at all either. It's just how it was, cold, wet, and I sweat a lot, and we had a good hiking pace going, which is something that you don't normally do in the winter. I'm looking forward to testing out both of those Zeta rain shells more in the future and seeing how they hold up in other conditions. And I also got to try out some Showers Pass Crosspoint waterproof breathable socks with a merino liner, which worked out really well until we got close to camp. And then my sweat took over those too. Very happy with my choices and gear. I'm very happy I brought the tent instead of the bivy, just because I did not want my stuff exposed to the rain and snow that we ended up getting. It's also nice to be able to move around a little bit and talk with you all. On that note, I'm going to get some shut-eye, and I'll see you in the morning for our last section of Connecticut. Good morning. Alright, so my coffee for this trip is Triple Crown Coffee. Since we're on the Appalachian Trail, I thought it would be fitting to go with the Appalachian Trail mix. These I purchased from a guy who's a fellow through hiker, Chris Perillo, Cookie Monster. They're based out of Massachusetts. And looking forward to trying this out. So here's the coffee, steep for five minutes, 
kind of in like a little tea bag here. So we're down there. We got icy climb up. Let's throw the spikes on. And then we're going to be exposed on the other side of this to 30 to 40 mile an hour wind gusts. It's going to be a fun climb and a fun day. Alright, we made it out. Super icy. Uh, anybody who's been on the AT or in this section before knows how challenging coming up Limestone Spring could be and going down it. It is even more difficult with fresh ice and snow on the ground from last night. We're heading down to the beautiful Rand's view. And continuing north on the AT to the Massachusetts line. How does it feel to be out of there? Oh, so nice. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> Booting up, gloving up, getting up. Yo, yeah. Get her done. Get her done. Oh, wow. That's what I'm talking about. Wow. Whew. Check that out. This is Rand's view. One of my favorite views. Oh yeah. <laughs> the conditions definitely do it justice right now. Man, there's the ridge that we're going to be walking today. You could just sit here all day. Definitely picture perfect. Here's Giant's Thumb. I wonder if he likes his coffee and pap tarts in the morning. Pop tarts. Chocolate <laughs> peanut butter pop tarts. <laughs> Woo, buddy. Woo, buddy. It's Billy's view. spikes on. This is why the extra 13, 14 ounces is worth it. I'm going down Weetawanchu Mountain now and it's all ice. I'm going to take my time with Bonsai and see you at the bottom.
All right, we are down in one piece. What did you think of that climb, Bonsai? With the spikes, no worries. <laughs> Without, ice capades. <laughs> We would have been dancing our way all the way down if we did not put the spikes on. So well worth the extra weight for the entire trip. We're close to the road now and we got to cross it and make our way over toward Lion's Head. Yeah, baby. Nice work. Yeah. Top of the lion's head. All right, so we're getting those wind gusts now. Bonsai has officially completed the Connecticut section of the AT. Congratulations, nice job. We're just getting in the last few miles for good measure. We're gonna make the decision to go down Bear Mountain, taking the Under Mountain Trail because of how icy everything is. Taking a break at Riga. Quick snack, quick water break. Lost another battery, so I had to plug this one in. Check out this view through the trees. One of the perks of hiking in the winter. Beautiful through here. And the snow on top of the mountain wall. Here we go, Riga Junction. Almost there. It's about 0.9 miles that way to the top. There we go. Final summit of the trip. Nice work. Congrats, dude. Yeah. All right. Check it out. Wow. We had a 
gonna go up here for a sec. down the epic finish with the 30 mile an hour winds smacking us right in the face snow snow on the ground snow falling in the sky great views and super happy to be out here on the trail again I was excited to be able to see Bon's eye through with his section hike in Connecticut and finishing that up. Hope you all enjoyed the two videos from the trip. Two different times of the year, so pretty cool perspective. I'll, I'll try not to slide on the ice here and fall on my face. Holy cow. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'll put a link for the other trip video in the description for this video. This is what we're up against right now. No dancing for Darren. Uh, is it going to be the same for me? This is a little sketch. Oh yeah. Save that ballroom for another day. Yeah. I'll bring my dancing shoes next time. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button and consider subscribing to this channel. I'm always adding new content to it. If you have any questions about any of the gear that I used on this trip or the other one with Bonsai over the summer or anything else, you can always get in touch with me in a comment below. Or you can contact me at reachyoursummit.net. As always, thank you. I appreciate you all. Until the next one, I'll see you on the trail.